Hi, I've got a 121GW meter returned from a fellow YouTuber, um, Adrian Smith. And we'll have a look at his uh, channel in a minute. So, here it is. I don't know if he recorded the serial number, but uh, there it is. So, it's a recent one. It's uh, less than 12 months old. And um, let's take a look at his uh, video. Well, I, I won't show you the whole thing, but basically, um, I'll link it in down below. So, check out Adrian's uh, channel. He's only got 1.5k subs. So, Let's sub him and well subscribe and let's uh, let's get him up there, shall we? Um, so yeah, basically, here right, it is. I'd just like to show you. Oh, I've got with my Wood Two One GW motivator from AAV Vlog. You can already see it on the screen. Look, it's in voltage mode. Fine up until the other day. There's no reading. It's not updating. Voltage reading and discovered it wasn't actually working. Yeah, it's not. Last time I used this. Anyway, um, no, yeah, it's on. like he doesn't use it much, apparently. Oh, um, set to he, he tries oh. to measure something with it. It's in auto mode. It's, it's in like auto DC mode. It should so uh, zero, zero, zero. It, it's just, yeah, it's it's not oh, updating. Oh, and if you it's not updating reading. ohms. It Once again, so, there's no reading. There's no, like, overflow reading temperature. for when, uh, when there's nothing connected. Um, different. Millivolts, exactly the same thing. You see the displays. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just like no updating well, it did. whatsoever. It doesn't matter what, what range he's in. Oh, that one had something. That's on oh, check. hang on. Before the diode check. Continuity, 0.00. 0. 0. 0. What? On check. Okay. <laughs> so in, but it didn't show that it's in ohms. Showing. So yeah, weird. It it's just like there's no updating whatsoever. So that is weird. Um, d uh, spoiler alert, I already, like, I just took it out of the box and I turned it on so I know what's going to happen and hopefully it does this again on screen. I'll just plug some probes in here and, uh, it's turned on. 2.05 volts. We get voltage. We, we're getting updating. It's, it's updating. We've got millivolts there. Well, of course, yeah, bar graphs going like you expect it would. It works, and it does this every time. Well, I've been turned on twice, three times now, and eh, it works. Um, the range switch is not is like really solid, like solid. There's no loosey goosey in the range switch there at all. So if I go over to millivolts and I, you know, start fiddling around with it and loosey goosey in the range switch a bit, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, it works fine. This um, problem over on ohms that we had? Nope, it, it, it's fine. Um, the continuity? No problems whatsoever. So, um, yeah, power. Power takes a few seconds to uh, show up because it's got to uh, do both the voltage and the uh, um, current there. But seems to work fine. And I'm sure it's like completely in spec. I don't know. I'll just get like a random battery. Um, yeah, I doubt there's a calibration issue, and 1.50, I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's good, I'm sure it's spot on, so, I don't know, sorry Adrian, I've got no idea, I just took a straight, <laughs> straight out of the box, is it because, um, somewhere up, it doesn't work in England, <laughs> it works in Australia, let's try turn it upside down, um, <laughs> <laughs> it still works so I yeah I don't know and if you look at his video um, it had basically um, it was you know it's not like it was in you know if it, if it had display hold it would have like hold on there or something but it actually displays like it, it doesn't update it doesn't update and then in uh, what was that continuity mode it was showing zero um, we're showing zero ohms there on continuity, so uh, I don't know what's going on there. Sorry, I've got no clue whatsoever why that is faulty. I'm not going to take it apart and have a look because I, I don't think we're going to see anything. Um, sorry, Adrian, it works. <laughs> it's not the first time I've had one <laughs> returned, by the way, and it, it, it just works fine. Um, and yeah, as I said, calibration's not an issue. It was it was display updating, but yeah, that that works every time, and nothing to do with the range switch. 
Um, low Z mode is going to work fine, I'm sure. So who's baffling? I've got no idea why it wouldn't update like that. And you saw in his video, it was auto, DC, and it just it, it should just be updating. He tried reflashing the firmware. That's one of the things I suggested that he uh, try, and he already did that, and it it didn't help at all. So the only difference is it came from <laughs> I think he's yeah it came from the UK to here, and it magically works. So I don't know. Sorry, Adrian. Um, I will. Um, I won't return you this one because I know you won't trust it. <laughs> so I'll send you a brand newy. And I'll keep this as a lab meter. Um, unbelievable. I've got no idea what happened there. Weird, huh? <laughs> Thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.